screen. You just have to look at my kitchen table or my dining room table. Um, this time of year, like I, I love to kind of click information or click the ideas about things. And sometimes there's just way too much stuff going on. So right now it's June, end of school year, literally signing up for things, finishing up things, like there's way too much going on. I think that kind of like overwhelm happens so much for moms who are trying to find the right way to get back to workouts, the right way to get back to running um, after having a baby. Like, especially now with so many people talking about things on social media, like you're like, yeah, that's a great idea, I'll try that. Or yeah, that's a great idea, I'll try that. And then you end up with like this hodgepodge of, like your table's a hot mess, let's put it that way. Like this hodgepodge of all these things and you try each for like a half a second and it doesn't work because it was meant to be super general and not particular to you anyway. And then you're like, all right, I'm not gonna do that. How about this? And it literally is like, you know, the next shiny object. And I had to crack up because, um, because I am in this space, um, lots of times the ads that um, Facebook will put out or the stuff that the algorithm will send my way are these kinds of things. And so one of the things that's coming up so often is how you should run, okay? And typically it's somebody that's in the postpartum space and it's like one quick blip of, hey, use these cues to fix your postpartum running leakage or prolapse symptoms or pain or things like that. And it's hysterical because <laughs> like, I, like it, it, it's literally the hottest mess I've ever seen. It's literally like my dining room table, my kitchen table, like all these little things are like, okay, so you need to run with your head forward. So I'm like, all right, let's run like this. I'm like, wait, no, that, 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 that's not cool. <laughs> like who runs like that? Or, um, run leaning forward and I'll see if, I'll see if I can do it. They're like run with your chest forward. I'm like, that's not good. And like run with your head forward. How about that? Run leaning forward. And then they do like this hip hinge. And I'm like, well, that's no. <laughs> and then it's funny. Cause if you go to the, the, um, like just runners, they're like, this is how a drill to do to run more upright. And you're like, okay, I'm in this space. And literally like, it just sounds like everything's, all over the freaking place and like I, where would you start like i would be incredibly confused um and i think these little quick hits like i appreciate that's how we digest information when we do quick little things but when you're trying to get back to running and workouts and after having a baby and things do not go as planned that's typically when you start looking for things right so if you have leakage if you have um, heaviness or pressure feel like your organs are falling out um, if you have you know wet pants and you didn't expect it or pubic bone pain or back or hip pain or things like that you're gonna start looking right and most of the stuff that's out there again it's like a quick like 20 second reel that is meant to be very very general or they're selling you like a you know a $39 program that's just general six week progression to get back to running that's not necessarily specific to your problem. And that like, it's the craziest thing because we collect all these things and it piles up on our table. We have all this information and we think, well, I should be able to make sense of it, right? No, it's a more complex than that. <laughs> that's why I have an actual day job. Um, no, it's literally, it's, it's so funny because it, again, like, you need to be able to understand all the reasons why you can have pelvic organ prolapse. You need to understand all the reasons why you can have wet pants and leakage and all the reasons why. And the risk, the combination of things is pretty significant. I'll be honest with you. And again, I've been at this mm, almost 25 years now, which makes me sound old. Forget about that. Um, you need to understand all those things and, and, be able to navigate supportive corrective exercise for running period, supportive corrective exercise for those postpartum issues and impact. So it's kind of complicated. <laughs> and 
you know, I've, I've been running 30 plus years. I've been a PT, tw no, I guess I've been running longer than that. Yeah, long time. Um, and doing postpartum care this long, like there's, we're so much farther now than we were, you know, two years ago, five years ago, eight years ago. We're so much further now, but it's complex. So if you're that person that you're watching this and you're like, oh my God, she called me out. Like you, you click save on these little reels or, hey, let me go try running, leading with my head or, or leading with my boobs or, or whatever. And you go try it out and it doesn't work. And then you add up enough of these things and then you kind of feel really shitty about yourself because you're like, oh my God, am I broken? Like, am I really that messed up? And the fact is that you're not, but when you, keep doing things that were never intended to address your problem because you never went back and figured out what the why was in the first place, you're kind of setting yourself up. So moral of the story here is if you feel like if you literally look in your social and you're like, gosh, you know, I've been saving a whole bunch of things and I've been trying all these things and literally trying to throw darts at a dartboard and hoping they stick and it's not working and I'm frustrated and I'm confused and I feel guilty because I want to run after my kid at the playground and I'm worried that my pants are going to leak and I have to plan my outfits. If that sounds like you, please hop in my DMs. There's so many things that we can start to look at. And one is just readiness. Are you even ready to go? And then two, where are the other gaps that we need to address? Gather the information up. Where are the gaps? What is your why? What is the pattern behind what's going on with you? And then get you started kind of the plan that's going to work for your individual recipe as to why you got there. So if you have this big pile of, of stuff and you're trying to make sense of it and you're not succeeding, like hey, hit me up in the DMs. That's literally my superpower, being able to find patterns in the chaos, clean it up, and give you a plan moving forward. And there's lots of ways that we can do that that isn't going to kill your budget and isn't going to like be one more thing on your to-do list because again, I got my own to-do list and I'm not gonna ask you to do anything that I wouldn't do myself. So hit me up in the DMs if you are that person that you've got this big pile, you wanna gather information, you wanna figure this out, but it's kind of feeling like a hot mess in your brain. See ya.